Hannah, you are local artist of the week. Congrats to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm I'm so grateful to yeah. be here and that you guys chose me for that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, the, the stars have aligned for you. Uh, you have your, your debut EP release show tonight at the Blue Room. That's awesome. I'm, thank you. I'm I'm so stoked. I know it, it truly does feel like the stars have aligned in my favor today and this week. I feel very fortunate. <laughs> well, I know uh, folks have already been wearing out the new EP, I Exist, because you say so. Uh, and uh, we've been wearing out weird for a while. This week we got it in heavy rotation thanks to Frothy Monkey. And it's tonight out at the Blue Room out at Third Man Records. Doors open at 7. Show starts at 8. Baby Wave going to be opening for Hannah Eid tonight. So that's, it's fun. Uh, these are all ages shows out there. So you know, bring the fam, come have some fun, see some live music, support local. We believe in, in supporting local. And uh, Nashville has a great indie rock scene right now. Hannah Ede is part of it. She's here to play a couple songs. Now, this is this is way different than what it's going to sound like with your band, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like the duality of man. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, th uh, this is this is stripping it down. Acoustic, you got your acoustic Taylor guitar here today. Uh, and uh, we're going to have her play a couple songs. Are both these off the new EP? Yes, both of them are. Well, tell us about to this first song you're going to play. This first song I'm going to play is Weird. It was the first single for this EP. Um and I wrote it just very, generally I write super stream of consciousness, but this song especially, it was just kind of like word vomit. And I think that's kind of evident in the way it, it sounds, but it's one of my favorites off the project. Um, and yeah, I'm stoked to play it this way. All right. This is Hannah Ede and Weird live on Lightning 100 and volume.com. Thank God I didn't spend the night. Even though I would have liked to I bite my tongue when I have to I never do The drive home didn't consume me As it always tends to Listen to the radio static There's no words I think I could use Second guessing, second guessing myself all the time Counting down my footsteps as I walk the timeline that we heard to say And I want to talk about this to someone who isn't you And screaming for the love of God, I 
Lightning 100. That is Hannah Ead live here in the Volume.com studio. It's tonight. She's going to be headlining out at the Blue Room for her EP release show. Doors at 7. Show starts today with Baby Wave. Getting things started. Tickets and info at the Blue Room Bar.com and Third Man Records.com. We're live on Lightning 100 and our Volume.com slash Lightning 100 channel. If you want to take a look into our tiny studio, is this what you thought it would look like in here, Hannah? It's, I <laughs> I don't know if it's exactly as I thought it would look like, but it's very cool. I'm loving all like the CDs. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got all kinds of fun pa- posters instead of paint around here. Uh, and uh, so Hannah, tell us about, about your journey to Nashville. How'd you end up here in Music City? Yeah, I um, I actually went to Belmont for two years. So I'm from Virginia, just outside of D.C. originally. And then I came to Belmont for college, did two years, and have since uh, been free range, as I like to call it. So. <laughs> okay, excellent. <laughs> right on. Uh, and, and yeah, you're, you're part of this this really cool national indie rock scene, I, f- I feel like we have right now. Uh, you know, who who are some of the other acts that uh, that you're friends with and that people should hear about? And I, I just, I know there's a lot of great, great bands playing places like the Blue room who call Nashville, Tennessee home. Yeah. Um, well, for one, Baby Wave, who's opening up the show tonight, they're they're a band that I truly, truly love. I don't know if I would say that they're indie rock necessarily, but okay. I think they're so awesome. And then Claire's band, Joiner is a, another wonderful indie rock band in Nashville that I'm so stoked about. Um, and then I have some friends in a band called Venus and the Flytraps as well. Um, yes. Yeah, there's a lot of just like awesome um, female-fronted indie rock acts here that have been super inspiring that I'm really stoked to like see get the attention they deserve. Shout out to Claire. So Claire's probably our newest employee here at the station. <laughs> She's running the cameras right now. Um, and you can probably talk to her in the, in the volume.com chat if you want to say hello to Claire. There. And she recently graduated Belmont University, so uh, that that's how that brings a lot of people <laughs> to town uh, in here in Music City. We've had a lot of f- former interns who ended up getting hired that, that were Belmont kids at some point. We got Hannah Ede hanging out with us here in the Volume.com studio. So uh, the band tonight is going to sound a lot different than this. Right now, you're you're acoustic. Tell us about the band that you're going to have on stage at the Blue Room. Yeah, um, the band, it's it's going to be five of us. We have drums, bass, uh, lead guitar, and then I'll also be playing electric guitar and then synth and keys. Um, so it's, it's a really fun setup. It definitely, it is always a little like nostalgic for me almost to like be playing a strip back set with an acoustic guitar. Um, but tonight it's going to be super like, like rock centric and just really fun and energetic. Um, and I'm really, I love my band and I'm so stoked to be able to like do this with them. Yeah, when when you first were getting started writing songs and playing music, it was it was acoustic, right? Not quite electric as things get now. Yeah, yeah. I like I grew up when I first started performing when I was like fifteen, I would play at all these breweries in Virginia and it was like just acoustic singer songwriter, like mostly covers, like Sister Golden Hair was a fan was a fan favorite um, at the Virginia breweries. Um but yeah, it's it's it is nostalgic to come back and be able to do a strip back set. It's super fun. But I'm also, I love so much being able to like play with my band and just like, like jump around and just have so much fun. Sure. You can do a lot of things with a five piece band. You can. There's, there's a lot more freedom. There is a lot more freedom for sure. Uh, it's going to be out the blue room tonight. Baby wave opening for Hannah Ede. And uh, it is the debut EP, a celebration of I exist because you say so, which We've had weird and heavy rotation all this week. We just got to hurt here the acoustic version of that one. Uh, why don't you play another song for us? Yeah, of course. Tell us about this one. Um, this one is also on the EP. It's uh, it's called Taller Than Me. Um, and it's... I also, I'm like trying to even think of what it's about. I honestly don't know. I just kind of word vomited this one too, I think. That's all right. But it's also one of my, one of my favorites on the project. It's really upbeat and really fun with the band and we never play it out we'll actually be playing it it might be our second time ever playing it out tonight um but just running it in rehearsals it's been so fun and like i know it's one of the favorites in the band and stuff which is which is always awesome this is hannah ead live on lightning 100 and volume.com So heavy, and you were so young and covered in acne. I was still 
Lightning 100, that is Hannah Eid live here in the Volume.com studio. It is tonight that she's going to be headlining the Blue Room out of Third Man Records. Tickets and info at thirdmanrecords.com and thebluerombar.com. Baby Wave going to get us started. It's her debut EP celebration. It's out today. I know you got to be excited to have this one out there. I'm I'm so stoked. It feels It feels very surreal because I've been working on this batch of songs for like I mean, I wrote them upwards of a year ago and I've been working on recording them for, for months now. And it's really nice to be able to like let go of something that felt like was like my private thing and make it a thing that everyone can share. That's incredible, <laughs> right? Uh, speaking of things that uh, you have made and that uh, people can share, you have your first batch of merch for this record I for do. sale at the show tonight. I saw you seemed excited about it. I'm Yeah, I'm so excited about it. I've been wanting to make merch for so long, but I just was not able to justify it. And the second I was like, I can justify it now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm selling t-shirts and I'm selling, I'm selling matchboxes, um, which is, I'm just so, I'm so happy with how it came out and it's, it's so fun. 